Rosencrantz, Guildenstern, hast thou yet discovered the cause of the prince's melancholy? No, my lord, we have not yet been able to decipher his utterances. However, he seems rather eager to see the performance this evening, so perhaps he is after all recovering. He must expect much from this play, so we must attend and see what it is that he would concern himself with now. Indeed, it may help cure what lingering sorrow that there is yet in him. I am truly glad, and we will speak with thee before the performance begins, but now we must be elsewhere. Gertrude, I bid thee, leave with them, for Polonius and I must witness Hamlet's conversation with Ophelia, and I hear him coming now. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them. Good morrow, my lord. My lord, I hath remembrances of yours, that I have longed, longed to re-deliver. No, not I. I never gave you aught. My lord, I must insist that thou did. And while they were sweet at delivery, they hath lost their sweetness now. I must confess, I hath once loved you, but I never hath given such a gift as thou speak of. I did believe that thou hath loved me. You should not have believed me, for virtue cannot so inoculate our own stock, but we shall relish of it. I loved you not. Oh, what a noble mind is here overthrown! I must say, his speech was of love, or insanity. I fear he hath a darker reason behind his melancholy. I shall send him off to England. Perhaps he will recover away from the castle. Indeed, it may aid him in redeeming his old glory. However, I still hath some belief that it is due to Hamlet's love for Ophelia, and I would ask thee to send him to Gertrude's chambers after the play, where I can hide myself behind a tapestry and listen to what he would say then. Of course, I shall arrange that. Thou knowest thy part. Go rehearse, if you will, but it is nearing time to act. How now, my lord? Will the king hear this piece of work? And the queen, too, and that presently. Will you two help to hasten the players? Certainly, Indeed, my lord. What ho, Horatio? Here, sweet lord, at your service. Horatio, thou art even as just a man as ever my conversation coped with all. Do not think I flatter. I envy thy mind, it must be said, so that is why I shall need thy aid. Do not watch the play, watch Claudius, for I hath lain a trap within the script, and when there is murder, there must surely be a reaction from the king, if he is truly responsible for the death of my father. Indeed, my lord, I will watch him. How fares our cousin Hamlet? Excellent in faith of the chameleon's dish, I eat the air, promise crammed, you cannot feed Capon so. I have nothing with this answer, Hamlet. These words are not mine. No, nor mine now. Hush, the play is starting. Oh, my dear wife, I have such affection for thee, but as I have always done on nights such as this, I must lie alone in the orchard. Indeed, my lord, I pray thee, return swiftly, for I cannot bear for us to be apart. Alas, the king asleep in the orchard. Alone, it seems. O oh, my fair honourable maiden, in the absence of thy husband, marry me, and be content once again. No, I cannot betray the king like that. But I am now the king. I pray thee, marry once again. Give me some light. Away, I will watch no more. Alas, a reaction with no doubt. Indeed, the ghost was true. My lord Hamlet, thou art wanted in thy mother's chambers. Indeed, I will speak with her, but I wish to be alone before. I will speak daggers to her, but use none. I truly fear Hamlet for his apparent insanity, so I must send thee to England with Hamlet, and stay there with him. We will ourselves provide. I thank thee. We shall depart to prepare for the voyage. My lord, he's going to his mother's closet. Behind the arras I'll convey myself to hear the process. 
when they art finished with their talk i shall travel hither once again to tell thou of what he hath said i am intrigued already i shall be glad to hear the cause of his behaviour if thou can discover it oh my offence is rank it smells to heaven i hath the primal eldest curse upon it a brother's murder pray can i not though inclination be as sharp as will i would pray for his return but though my offence is truly foul i could not forfeit what i hath gained from committing it no i must be forgiven finally i can strike one quick swing and my father's last wish will be granted but alas he prays to kill a man whilst in prayer would send his soul to heaven it would not be a fitting punishment for his crimes i will strike when he is sinning alas i cannot pray my words fly up but my thoughts remain below now mother what's the matter hamlet thou hast thy father much offended mother thou hast my father much offended come come you answer with an idle tongue go go you question with a wicked tongue have you forgot me no by the rood not so you are the queen your husband's brother's wife and what it were not so you are my mother son thou cannot speak like this thou art evilly spoken thou wilt not murder me help help ho what ho help 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 a rat a dead rat it shall be oh i am slain oh me what hast thou done polonius i did think it was the king oh what a rash and bloody deed this is a bloody deed almost as bad good mother as kill a king and marry with his brother as kill a king ay lady twas my word hamlet my son do not forget that thou hast yet a task that thou hast not yet accomplished do not stray from what i bid thee do was that the old king ay it was i must tell thou that i am not in fact insane i have been acting and i wish for thou not to speak of it i pray thee leave claudius as i must leave denmark for england